Hi, this is Dave Collins from Shareware Promotions with a special Butterscotch.com series on Google AdWords. This is part seven, breaking down into new ad groups. What we've done so far is create a fairly general campaign, this initial campaign, with a single ad group. Now, if we have a look at the keywords that are generating the traffic, let's sort by the number of impressions. And we can then see that this particular phrase, what is Windows 7, is responsible for a great many of the actual clicks within the ad group. So let's create the new ad group. We go back to the actual campaign, in this case, the initial campaign, from the ad groups tab. So we click on the new ad group, and then we give it a relevant name. Google very kindly give us some ad text, and we then need to add at least one keyword to proceed any further. So for now, we'll just use that one, scroll down, we're going to put the, the max CPC at the same level as the existing ad group and we're going to click on save ad group. So if we now have a look at the campaign we can see two ad groups. Right now that's not really got very much in. So let's go into ad group number one and what we're going to do is select all the keywords that we think would be a good fit for this what is Windows 7 new ad group. So we're looking for keywords that all more or less fall under that same theme. So we've got the exact match what is Windows 7, the phrase match what is Windows 7. Now we're going to look, check all the keywords if there's any other what is. The what is Windows Ultimate would also be a good fit. And if we scroll down, what is Windows 7 release candidate, what is Windows 7 beta, what is Windows 7? So the next step is to select more actions, to choose copy. What we'll then do is choose the new ad group, so what is Windows 7? And we'll copy bid, and there is no specific destination URL, so we'll just leave that as copy to ad group. So now we'll go and check, check what's in there. So we click on the what is Windows 7, ad group and we can see our new keywords. Now it's worth pointing out at this stage that once this ad group starts working what we can then do is go back into the original ad group, in this case the ad group number one, and we can delete those keywords from that ad group because we don't want to have duplicate keywords in more than one ad group. So the next thing we need to look at is the actual ads themselves. If we go into ads right now we can see that right now we've only got one single ad. So let's go and copy some of the ads from ad group one. We'll click on Ad Group 1, we'll select all the ads, choose More Actions, Copy, and again we're going to choose the Initial Campaign, what is Windows 7, and we're going to copy them all to the new ad group. Get the confirmation, go back to what is Windows 7, then we can see that all the ads are now sitting there. Now the first thing I notice is that when we originally took the ad while setting up the ad group from the ad group number one that's already been approved but as we copied everything from ad group number one there's a duplicate so the first thing we can do is select that ad choose change status delete and get rid of that one we'll leave the approved one there now i'd like to start a new ad group with only four ads so for now we'll delete two of the ads now we're down to four, each of which we're going to edit individually. So the idea here is that each ad will fit the What is Windows 7 theme. So if we click the little edit icon over there, click the Yes I Understand. Sometimes that can be as easy as merely changing the title. So let's save that one. And then we'll go for the second ad. And again, here we can get away with only changing the title. Then we'll go to edit the third ad. So here we'll upgrade the first line and the second line. Then we'll click save and the fourth ad. So without too much work, we have four new ads that nicely fit, molded around 
our keywords. So all we need now is a little bit of time for the new ad group to generate data.